Let me just give you a bit of gain here now. I'll give you a bit of gain. Give you a bit of gain. Pull it up. Drive it, drive it, drive it. Okay, lovely yeah. stuff. I'm delighted to say I am joined by a tip man now based in Dublin and he has been blazing a trail for himself ever since 2016 when he graced our television sets and our ears on The Voice and since then has supported the likes of Hermitage Green and Hudson Taylor who we feature here on the show has been knocking out hits left and right and he has live gigs coming up. He's been performing all over the country. New music coming out next Wednesday. It's the one and only Porak O'Mara. How you doing, brother? How are you doing, my man? How are you? I am fantastic. Delighted to finally get you on the show. So happy that this can actually happen. Absolutely, man. Yeah, both of myself. Thanks so much for having me on. An absolute pleasure. So just so we can give the Dear Sweet listener a chance to get to know Porak O'Mara, would you mind giving us a brief summary of your humble beginnings, what got you into the music, to kind of where you are today? Yeah, absolutely, man. So my name is Porik, and as you rightly mentioned, I'm from Tip and proud of it. <laughs> uh, and uh, so, yeah, that's where I grew up. That's kind of where it all started for me uh, in school, really. I was a late bloomer, kind of went for an audition for a musical to skive off class, and I ended up getting the main role. And uh, that was the kind of start of it. Like, you know, that was my first time singing in front of people, and the response and the feedback that I got is something you know, straight away I was like yeah I want this for a very long period of my life if not the rest of my life do you know what oh, I mean oh yeah and then just started kind of doing a couple of cover gigs around town and then when I was 21 as you said my sister kind of threw me onto the voice for the crack and that obviously went great gave me a good platform to start and then that was kind of my realisation then that it's what I want to do for the rest of my life so I am um, just moved, moved to Dublin and gave it my all, got a band together and like we're still obviously going under Porno Camara but like the lads need to mention because they are just as much of the project as I am, you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, and yeah, we've just been releasing tunes, man. We've been touring, trying our best uh, to put our name out there and things are going great. Like we've sold out uh, pretty much every show that we've put on since we started doing shows, you know, so nice. it's great that, you know, I have the support and people are liking the tunes and liking the live show, obviously, because live show is kind of where we would always put our main focus you know so I'm happy that that's paying off for us for sure but yeah so now I'm in Dublin and uh, we're going on tour again in March and I have the music coming out and life is great <laughs> That's so good to hear man that is so great yeah. to hear as you know someone who's just trying to do what they want to do as you say a late bloomer but you found out that this is what you want to do and you're giving it a shot and I love it because with all the opportunities that no doubt came from being on the likes of The Voice and stuff like that you're going independent you're going at this yourself you're fueling it all with your own passion and kind of putting everything back into the music and stuff like that and so we were delighted to be able to get the song lately. The 28th of September graced us as you have been doing nothing but for many a year now, uh, but really starting to really put the foot down on the accelerator you brought out lately and what a track. Such a good song. And so tell us a bit about Lately. Yeah, and thank you so much, first of all. Yeah, no, Lately was a big one for us. Um, so Lately was a stem from a writing trip that me and my band looked to Calvin, uh, like we do frequently. And uh, this tune was wrote up there and kind of time of writing it like a few of us were kind of going through similar stuff we kind of felt like we were being not mistreated but kind of like left to the side by friends or in relationships or whatever even though they were different walks of life we all had the same feeling hmm. and that's kind of where the lyrics stem from then and then I brought it to Alex uh, O'Keefe uh, who's an absolute phenomenal producer and he really brought it to life um, and then yeah we, got, we released it and like we, obviously like we were looking forward to releasing it but it was the start of a kind of a new sound for us in a lot of ways. Like yeah. kind of really, we really found what we want to do and where we want to go with this and that was kind of the first release and it was just the way it was receptive, like received was just phenomenal. You know, it was actually incredible. Like, I mean, it got to number seven in the charts and yeah. for me, like, you know, for some people that might not be anything but like, for me, that was huge. Like, you know, and like, as you said, man, it's fully independent and, you know, you're, try putting all your passion and energy into this and I don't regret a second of anything that I do in music yeah. but it's the things like that that make you sit back and be like yeah this I'm doing I'm doing the right thing or I'm going about it the best way that I can you know Yeah. and uh, they're the wins you know they're the big wins and that's like say, same as selling out shows like you know, when you can achieve them milestones you're just like yup we're doing something <laughs> <laughs> yup that's the stuff and that's it like yeah. it's it's so good to see and I absolutely thrill for you and lately actually went so good for you I mean you were getting mentions all around the country national radio play you're getting in the gigs and then 
what, about two months later, you released the song Os Gaelge. Yes. Oh. King Jay. King Jay. <laughs> <laughs> when you started talking about why you released Os Gaelge, because you have a passion for the Irish language. And what made you just think, yeah, let's just turn lately into Irish? It's, it's been something that's been on the back burner in my mind for a very long time, man. Like, I've, I've always, like, I, not that I grew up with Irish, like, my parents all, like, my parents would have a tiny bit, but, like, they thankfully sent me to the Gael Talks when I was growing up, and I just fell in love with it, man. I just love mm. it. And it's always something, ever since I was, like, I've wrote loads, wrote, wrote loads of songs in Irish and then ended up translating them to English because I was just like, nah, nah, people don't want to no. hear it. And I guess, man, I'm just at the stage now where I was like, I'm just going to do what I want to do and I'm going to stop trying to play the game that might not even exist. Exactly. You know what I mean? Exactly. And so I was just like, yeah, look, man, like, you know, the Corona's released Pipe Chinole. That was like one of the first tunes in Irish that I learned. And I was like, it's just such a phenomenal move. And... I just said I'd chance it and it actually got received way better than I thought it would in the sense that like even people messaged me that don't know what the hell I was saying were like yeah. it's really nice to be able to kind of compare it to the English version they're nearly learning Irish from it you exactly know? and that's what you, know? you and want kinda, and that was why I wanted to do it man because we have a beautiful language that isn't used enough and I just thought maybe like someone that's youngish still <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> in the kind of the, trying to trying my best to be in the public eye like you know it mm. might maybe motivate some other people to to pick up the language and speak Kupla Fokka when they can you know yeah and you're absolutely right to be honest it's been something that personally I've been trying to preach even in my own personal life where I just saying like we need something to grab onto in Irish that's fresh that's that's new that's cool and the fact that like because I heard it I, when I heard it Oscar I was like no way this still sounds as big of a hit as it is right. in Irish it was so so good you, you translated it you did such a good job composing it to Irish and for anybody who hasn't checked it out definitely go go check it out right now because I think it is it's such a good thing and let's let's talk about more good things because there's another good thing arriving uh, next Wednesday 25th of January tell us more yeah man so I'm very happy to announce that uh, I have a new single coming out on Wednesday next Wednesday the January 25th and uh, it is called Come Home and yeah man it's I like if I can say so myself like it's another belter <laughs> nice <laughs> and you know it's just yeah no we're really happy with man again it's just like when we found our sound out the songs that we're recording we're just really happy with but Come Home is uh, kind of it's an open letter to anyone who has struggled with addiction or has been on the other side of addiction and just a kind of a, a letter to anyone who needs to be reminded that no matter how hard time gets and you want help, there are people there to help you. But the most important thing is wanting to help yourself. And like the people around you are always going to be there for you. And I think that's something that's forgotten a bit too frequently. And it's something that I like I've, you know, experience in my own personal life and, you know, the lads in the band have and I know so many other people have and it's kind of all behind closed doors and, yeah, I just kind of wanted to do my bit to be like, everything will be fine if you ask for the help or want to get the help and people around you will be there for you 100%. Mm, that's beautiful and and it's very well said and I have to say I, I got to hear it you know yourself because you sent it to me and immediately I emailed Porik back and I was like so can I put this out now or do I have to wait and you're like no you have to wait and I was like oh raging so I, I am so looking forward to be able to feature it uh, on the next week's show um, but uh, you know such a beautiful message and I think it, it's very very well delivered so you should definitely be proud of it uh, and no doubt you will be and to celebrate the release you're doing something in March. You're getting out. You're back on the road. You're hitting up the west coast, the east coast, and you're even going across the water. Uh, so yes, yes the Roisin Dove, Galway, third of March. Whelan's, Dublin, fourth of March, and the Grace in London on the tenth of March. I know we're getting very bougie, aren't we? <laughs> <laughs> bougie in all the right ways, Pork. That's the yeah, important thing. Exactly. You're a man of class, and I appreciate that. A hundred percent, man. Yeah, I'm buzzing, man. Yeah, as I said earlier, like the light show is where we're at. It's what we know we're unbelievable at and it's where we have the most fun obviously so as you know yourself being a very successful musician in your own right mm. being on stage oh, beats all man you know what I mean yeah. <laughs> it's, it's another world it is it's making you blush <laughs> you are yeah <laughs> but, uh, but yeah man look we're really looking forward to it and if uh, if the last show is to go by like people need to come to these because they are going to be next level and fingers crossed any of your listeners will make the journey uh, if it's not too far for them because they will definitely be worth it Oh, Maybe not to London. That might be a bit. Too <laughs> Do you know what? 
No, I, I'm calling out the listener. We're all going to London. 10th of March. We'll see you there, Porik. No, but that is brilliant. Honestly, it's going to be fantastic. Now, are those tickets online or is it kind of just a show up and for the love of God, pray that the gold dust can fall into their hands? Uh, no, 100% online, man. We're definitely expecting them to sell out. So yeah. if anyone wants to come, make sure and grab them as soon as they can. Fantastic. And they can get that on? On Ticketmaster or on the on the site of the... Um, so the Irish tickets can be found on Ticketmaster or at Whelan or Roisin Dove's uh, own website. Mm. And then the Grace tickets can be found on Dice FM. Wonderful. Well, Porik, thank you so much for taking the time ahead of your incredibly busy schedule, which uh, once the second you said that it's all happening, I just wanted to hit some party poppers back here and start busting out the champagne. <laughs> but uh, we'll have to do that after the after the Absolutely. gigs in March. It's going to be a great crack. Man. But thanks for Absolutely, taking the time, man. dude. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much, man. No, I appreciate it, man. Thank you so much.